Hi everyone, it's Nicolas Dorlier. So today I want to show you a video about how to host your own Lightning Network server. Um, so for those of you that are not familiar with Lightning Network, Lightning Network is basically a protocol first. Uh, I won't explain exactly what it does, but briefly, uh, there is three implementation right now, LND, C-Lightning, and Eclair. Um, on my side today, we will use C-Lining. Uh, the reason why I choose C-Lining is that it's the only way I found right now to, uh, to, to host a Lightning Network server while also exposing a very simple JSON API that is very useful for payment processor. Um, so just a quick note about how it works uh, under the hood before I show you the demo. So uh, I, I created a Docker Compose uh, that is very similar to what I did with BTC Pay before. Uh, so basically you have, it's a Docker Compose that hosts a Bitcoin Core node. Inside, your, inside there is also a Lightning D node that is configured to talk with your Bitcoin Core node. And there is a Lightning Charge uh, server that talk to your Lightning D. Uh, so the Lightning Charge server is basically a G JSON API that is very, very useful for third-party payment processor. So uh, that's exactly why. So if you saw some video of, uh, of a Blockstream showcasing uh, Lightning Network payment on WooCommerce, basically they have their own plugin here. And this plugin is connecting to the Lightning uh, the instance through this Lightning Charge server that make it very easy. Uh, sadly, there is no way of doing something similar with LND because with LND, if you give access to your plugin to your LND instance, then you give basically a, uh, the plugin, if it becomes compromised, can basically move around money. I know that they have some way to do it uh, if I can change the code. But uh, on my side, I prefer building apps on top of what's already existing yet, instead of changing their code. Uh, so I've, I've gone to the lightning, C lightning way. And uh, on top of this li lightning chart, uh, I basically host uh, uh, Nginx reverse proxy that is configured with the Let's Encrypt to easily provide HTTPS certificates. Okay. Um, I won't show you how to install uh, this WooCommerce plugin right now. So there's a WooCommerce plugin by Blockstream. Uh, if I think it's in GitHub, Element Project, I think it's in Element Project, I'm not even sure. Uh, no, I, I, I don't remember. I, I will need to search it, but yeah, basically there is a plugin on that you can install on WooCommerce, and that you just you will just have to put the URL that I will show you uh, of your Lightning instance, and it will just work. Uh, very soon, I will also integrate the Lightning Network payment to BTC Pay, uh, so you won't need a separate plugin for paying. Okay, so. Uh, so here is a Docker file, and basically my one-click deployment uh, will host a VM on Azure, pull the Docker file, uh, the Docker Compose file, and basically run it with uh, the right parameter with the right param parameters. Uh, if you are not fan of Azure, then you can just uh, use the same script here that are here and do your own stuff. Uh, I'm just doing it with Azure because it allows me to make a one-click deploy. Okay, so if you are smart to understand things, then you can do your own stuff. If you are not smart, then you can just use a deploy to Azure, which is perfectly fine. Uh, so uh, for, for the one-click deploy, you, you need a uh, Azure, basically an Azure uh, account so, uh, on Microsoft. So I just suppose you already did that. Uh, I won't tell you how. I, I, I detail lots of about what's going on under the hood here. Uh, it's not very complicated. There is nothing like brand new. It's uh, it's really just script running and and, and running Docker Compose basically. Uh, 
Um, okay, so let's start. So you go to this URL here, GitHub, Nicolas Dorier, Lightning, Charge, Azure, and then you click on Deploy to Azure here. So as you can see, actually, I, I lied a little bit. There is maybe two click for installing. Uh, so it's loading. So why it's loading? Uh, Azure is always a, li a little bit slow for the portal, but oh, OK, I wanted to explain something else, but I will later. So you have this wizard here. Uh, so there's not really a lot you know, that you have to configure by yourself. Uh, you have to, to configure the resource group name. So the resource group name basically uh, doesn't matter. You can put whatever you need. I will put uh, lining. OK, a kind of random name. I don't really care because later it will not appear. But I just need to remember it. So I copy paste here. Uh, so you, you will be able to connect to SSH to your VM. So uh, here's the default is us. And I will just put the, the password. OK, this one, it's cool. It's perfectly random. So I put it here. And basically, that's all is needed. Um, the only thing that you can also configure here is the Lightning node alias. So for those of you that check a Lightning Explorer, then uh, you can show your own alias here. Uh, I will not set it right now. I will just use mainnet. You can just use another uh, network if you want. And that's basically it. So, so why is creating? I will just uh, suspend the video because, like, it takes, I guess, between five and 10 minutes and then explain you the rest. Okay, we are back to business. Um, so it cr it's finally created. And when it's created, here you have a notification, basically, that say deployment succeed. Uh, so I advise you just to click on this deployment mic Microsoft template. You click on this. Then. Uh, basically, it gives you several information on the server, but what we need here is basically the URL to connect to your to your uh, machine. So if I if I go uh, to this URL HTTPS here, so if I go there, uh, you will see that I can connect to uh, the Lightning Charge API. So it's say okay. It say there is a it's the API that replies that to me. So it means that it works. But basically, you see that here uh, the HTTPS is not using a trusted certificate, right? Uh, if you want to use your own trusted certificate, then we need to configure it correctly. So there is not a lot to do. I will I will show you that now. Uh, so basically, here it's. Uh, this URL, which is the URL of your service that you find here, you just copy paste that here to get your your okay on your name domain name registers where uh, so you buy your own domain name. So on my site is nicoladorier.com, uh, and you just add a new one, a new record. You add C name, and on my side I would like. Call it the uh, lights, just lights, and you. I put the host name. It's very important to put a dot at the end here. You see, there is a dot here. It's very important. Don't forget it. Uh, and then you do create. Okay. So now I created the C name. What you need to do is to change the to to use to have a new cert a new HTTPS certificate is to connect to your VM. So here I connect to that URL by SSH. So you have two ways to connect to SSH. You have uh, Putty on, 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 on Windows or directly SSH via uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. So I will just use this bash uh, and SSH, thus it's a username, and connect to my server. Ah, 
my password is this one sorry okay so then you need to connect as admin sudo su dash okay so once you are here the only thing you have to do is change domain dot sh and you have to put your domain name that you choose so you choose light dot nicola dot com so it's configuring it it takes a little while uh sometimes it goes quick sometimes it goes it takes five minutes but it should eventually work so let's see how it goes so it's restarting my my docker right now and after I will be able to refresh this page by using lights.nicoladorier.com and it will show good certificate. So sometimes it goes quick, sometimes it takes a while. Okay, it works now. So as you can see now I have HTTPS correctly configured and I can safely use on internet over the internet my LinkedIn charge instance. Okay. So from now you can start to plug it to your WooCommerce. So if you want to plug your uh, lightning charge uh, instance to your to your to your WooCommerce plugin, basically you will need another piece of information. So you go to your uh, VM and lightning show dot sh. You run it. And you have here but what you need to give to your plugin to connect to this lightning charging sense. Okay, this piece of information here. So if I add my own WooCommerce plugin, you copy paste this this inside, and then normally you should be able to pair it together. Okay. Uh, so everything going well with this. Uh, I, so later when I will implement with BTCP, basically you will need to use this URL here. So everything is working fine. Now just an additional note in case you want to debug stuff by yourself. Um, ah, so yeah, one thing, if you want to send money from your Lightning instance to those outside world, then right now you can only do that by command line here. The way you are doing that is by using uh, Lightning dash CLI and actually this will just forward the commands to your uh, lightning instance okay so right now I can do for example git info and I can see that uh, my node is correctly configured for having the right IP for example uh, so from here there's lots of commands that you can play with okay I won't go through them for one reason is that uh, I have not played with it yet, so I don't really know. Uh, and you have also, if you need, you have also your Bitcoin CLI instance. So get blockchain info, for example. Okay, you can have information about the blockchain uh, from your Bitcoin core node. Um, one thing to know is that before using Lightning, you need to wait your instance to sync with the network. So when you're doing Lightning CLI.sh get info, uh, you can see the block height here. Uh, you need to wait to catch up the network. So right now, I think uh, how many blocks we have. So right now we have like, yeah, 509,000 blocks. So like you have to wait that it's in uh, Bitcoin Core, like take one or two days to sync. And then you start, you can start reusing uh, Lightning. So that's basically all I, wa all I wanted to show you today. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope that the next podcast will be about my integration on uh, BTC Pay.